How you doing guys? This is Anon21486. Welcome to my next video. This time I'm going to be doing a video that I have been looking forward to doing since beginning of this year. The video in question is Lullaby for a Princess Animation by Warpout. Now I do believe I, well, I should say I think I know two things about this video. The first thing is that this is an animation based off an audio clip. Um, most likely a song. So they somebody made the song and then they actually made uh, an animation on it. Now I don't know how true it is or not because I really like to go to, into the videos as blind as possible so I'm not gonna go and search but that's how it looks like anyway at first glance I should say. Now the second thing I know is that this is an emotional video and emotional, I don't honestly know if it's emotional because of the song itself or if it's because of the video or if it's even the combination of both of them, you know, combined. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. Now, yeah, I don't think I know. I mean, I'm, I'm basing it off the thumbnail and the thumbnail looks like it's going to be Luna and Cadence. So, is it possible that it's going to be a duet of Luna and Cadence? Um, also, I see another one, and I think that may be the original one by Pony Phonics, which has uh, Celestia looking up at a beam of light, which is most likely representative of um, the moon. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I honestly don't know. It may be that... It, going to be based off of essentially Darkman Knight side as well as uh, Queen Chrys Queen Chrysalis side. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. Anyway, without further ado, I guess let's start the video, shall we? And Warpout presents Lullaby for a Princess. Let me turn that down a little. I gotta admit, I like the animation. Or uh, the the art style. What do you call this? Pastel? Ooh. Okay, uh, off the bat, I like the style. I, I really like the style. Ooh, just took a dark turn with the notes. And, um... That is the same animation used for Ponies the Anthology 5, I think? Eh, whatever. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm a little quiet, but I'm actually trying to listen to the lyrics. Wait, is that... Is that Celestia? Yeah, wow. Oh boy. But such is the way of the line lights lately takes hold of the mind of its foe. Okay, this is and that foolish part. Oh man. I I'm not gonna lie, I just got chills. The 
the the actual animation is beautifully done. Nice battle scene. Actually, that's pretty true, too. Well then, yeah, that was actually pretty close to what happened in the show. Nice sound effects, even though I think it's been overused, the, the bass drop. Nona's cute. <laughs> you can't deny that. Are we actually going to see the parents? No. Okay. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Lullaby for a princess. I'm not gonna lie, that was beautifully done. Uh, what do we got? The end credits? Yep. Uh, yeah, I'll let the kind of I'll let the ending play. Yep. And I was right. It was Pony Phonics. Okay. But yeah, this was beautifully done. And uh, to be honest, I'm more of a visual guy than and well, actually, no. I mean, I. I am kind of an audio guy just because I'm a musician myself. But at the same time, the visuals in this was well, it it was completely superb. I mean, the fact that the, uh, not the fact, sorry, but the, okay, let me start that over. The visuals was simply superb. The art style I actually enjoyed it had kind of a watercolor feel or something like that even though um th the actual animation of the characters is in a different format um I by the way yeah I think one of the negatives in this is that I think the character of Celestia was a little bouncy at the beginning but that's just you know my taste but other than that the background was you know gorgeous not gonna lie about that is just simply gorgeous very pleasant to see um the dark colors really helped along with the story just because it is essentially celestia singing about 
what happened on that fateful night with um, Nightmare Moon and how uh, Nightmare Moon consumed Princess Luna. So, yeah, of course, it's going to have a dark undertone. And even the song had a dark undertone, which came out extremely well. So, yeah, I mean, there's nothing much I can say about that. Yeah, so, yeah, this was very impressive. I mean, yeah, shoot, I, I honestly can't say anything. Anyway, I guess before I start rambling out and saying yeah and you know, other words that I've been using lately, you know, I'm just going to cut it off here. So, yeah, this was really good and I hope to see more from the fandom because I'm pretty sure by now the fandom has actually grown a lot to the point where they are somewhat on par with the actual show. I'm not going to say they are on par because of um, incidents that happened in the past. And yes, I'm talking about, um, uh, what is it, uh, Button Smash in that series. So, yeah, hopefully it didn't get that far where they actually had to get, or Hasbro had to give a takedown notice. But, you know, this fandom does have an impressive collection of artists and creators out there. So, yeah, that's something to look forward to. And I have a feeling it's going to be a couple more years before the creators start dying down. I mean, even though a lot of the old creators, from what I understand, or a lot of the old fans have started trickling down already, a lot of the newer ones are starting to pop up. Uh, for example, is Brony Burning Axe. So... Yeah, nothing much I can say with that. So without further ado, this has been Anon21486. See you guys later. <laughs>